So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you don't know that uh, the V-Ride actually broke down on me. I had to get a loaner mower. Um, the loaner mower does not fit into the little trailer. So I'm having to get the big trailer ready to go to be able to get this mower in the trailer and going with me uh, to the jobs. So here's the mower they gave me. It's a Kubota Z724X. My plan is kind of just to uh, do a whole video just talking about my thoughts on it, comparing it to the uh, V-Ride, and uh, you know, sit down versus stand up. So now this morning, let's get started on getting this trailer ready. Got to get the equipment defender racks going and on here. Uh, I ran it yesterday uh, with just a uh, blower rack, but uh, that was actually pretty difficult. Uh, I, I don't like not having racks. So, I'm gonna get the uh, racks up here. I think what I'm gonna do is do the weed eater racks on the front here. Uh, I've got a couple gas can racks. I think I'm gonna put those on the wheel wells. And then I've got another blower rack for the second blower. And I think I'm gonna put that on the end if it'll fit right there. There is a link in the description that will take you to Equipment Defender. Uh, that is an affiliate link. I do make some money off of that. It all just goes back into the channel, you know, buying video gear, all this kind of stuff. The things that I invest in to uh, create this channel and these videos. There is also a discount code, Fall River. Uh, that'll get you 10% off of your order, so it'll also save you money by using that link. So right here where this thing has the uh, spare tire rack, I'm actually going to take this off and then I have a buddy that does some welding. I'm going to have him weld it on the other side. Um, this trailer manufacturer putting it on this side. Uh, I'm not sure why he did it because I think it would be the perfect thing to put on the opposite side because I feel like you want your equipment curbside and uh, it doesn't matter if the uh, tire is street side I wouldn't think. So it's definitely time to upgrade from the cobalt. Uh, I've had this drill for a long time. It's been a good drill, but it just doesn't have the nuts that you need it to have to like put screws in when you need them to go in. And this is absolute overkill. Okay, now let me kind of show you guys what the plan is on this. I'm just using the self-tapping screws right here uh, through the top, and it's going right through the metal, the top rail. So I think that's gonna hold really good. Now the screws do stick out on the other side. I'm just gonna cut them off, grind them down flat, and then I'll uh, kind of paint over them just to make them pretty much disappear. At the bottom, I've kind of just gotta go through the expanded metal. And I've got these little screws with a flat on the other side. I'm going to put the flat on the inside. That way nothing really catches on it or anything like that. So that's kind of the plan. I've got the blower rack on the exact same way. So far it's been holding up really good. So I think I'm going to be okay doing it this way. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a problem. But I am going to keep an eye on it because it is just this expanded metal. And it does have some give. Okay, so I did want to show you all this from the inside of the trailer because I know you guys and I know if uh, I don't show it to you, you will burn me on it in the comments. So I did put a washer in here just to expand the surface area uh, with the expanded metal. 
I will say this uh, right here right now it would be awesome to have a second set of hands to have one person in the trailer one person out of the trailer uh, it would make this a heck of a lot easier So this old Milwaukee ratchet wrench, uh, I definitely underestimated the power that this thing has because I just straight up uh, ripped that bolt in half. Luckily I got some extras. Now I know. Go easy on the trigger. I got two bolts up here and two bolts down there. I'm just trying to mock everything up right now. Uh, make sure that it is where I want it to be. Uh, before I really lock this thing down. It's already feeling pretty sturdy. Uh, I do have bolts that I haven't tightened down yet. I left everything just kind of hand tight. That way I can kind of shift and move as I need to uh, without having to get a wrench out and loosen things and then retighten. Uh, it just makes it easier. So now I gotta get a measurement uh, on the weed eaters. Uh, I want this rack kind of set up exactly like the one in the enclosed trailer. Uh, that way I can take weed eaters off of one rack, put them on the other rack without any issues. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drop the rack off of the bracket because I can't get to all these uh, screw holes here to be able to lock this thing down. So it's just one bolt here uh, and then I'm going to leave this bracket on here and then just take off the main bracket. And then once I get all these screws in here, get them cut off on the inside, um, get the couple more bolts down here. These weed eater racks will be on. It's pretty easy to uh, install these things. I've been really impressed with this equipment defender equipment because uh, it's really held up. It really feels heavy duty, uh, rough and tough, like it's gonna last forever.
There it is. I got it on there, got it all bolted down. I still got to cut those ones off on the inside, but I got my edger at the bottom, two weed eaters, and then I got my pole saw up top. I've never been able to like really carry that with me because I didn't have that fourth position in the uh, enclosed trailer. So I like that I can have that with me now all the time and I can start carrying other attachments with me and keep those in the box on the trailer. So this is what I was talking about on the inside. Uh, these self tappers just came all the way through. So I'm just gonna trim them off. I'll grind them down and then I'll just spray paint over this area where I scratch up all the paint. So this one is the keyed rack instead of the uh, combination lock like what's in the enclosed trailer. Um, I don't mind trying this out, seeing how I like it. Uh, if I don't end up liking a key, then I'll probably get them to send me the uh, combination lock to go in here. It's pretty easy to change. But to lock this one, what you're gonna do is open this flap. You're gonna turn this handle, push this up, lock it with your key and drop it on the ground and then that locks this piece and locks this so that the weed eaters don't come out. I bet you thought I was going to pull it out like I did in the last video. If you haven't seen that, it was pretty funny. Uh, I'll have a card pop up. Check out the full install video in the enclosed trailer. So now I got two of these two and a half gallon racks. Uh, I'm gonna mount them on here. Uh, one thing I do kind of want to make kind of a suggestion to Equipment Defender is these pins, which is what locks your gas can in. It would be nice if I could actually, you know, they got them. See, they got them cable tied on. Uh, which is awesome because it makes it so you don't lose the pin and I kind of like that But it would be nice if it was universal and I could move the pin to the other side But I can't do that Without cutting the cable and redoing it re-splicing it and all that But if there was a way to make that universal where you could switch them back and forth uh, The reason I say that I would actually like to mount them that way but it doesn't let me get the pin in. And if I could come in with the pin from this side, and then come in with the pin from this side, I would just have the two locks here. That would put both locks in the middle. Uh, it would also save some room on my wheel well that I could actually fit some other things if I needed to. So just a suggestion to Equipment Defender, uh, if you can find a way to make that universal, that would be awesome. So it looks like for me, I'm going to have to mount them sideways like so. And that way both pins will be on the outside and the lock will be on the inside. Uh, you can get to it, it's pretty easy actually to get in there and lock it. And I will say that that does kind of make it a little bit harder for a thief to get his bolt cutters in there and uh, cut that lock.
I gotta say those were pretty easy to install. I mean, it was really just drilling four holes. I could have done three, but I think they're on there, you know, good enough. They're not gonna go anywhere. They're not gonna fall off by any means. So it's just four bolts, drill a couple holes, bolt those things down. Uh, really easy to get those on there. In case you guys are interested, they do make a five gallon rack also. Uh, I'm really not sure where I'm gonna put it on this trailer or if I'm gonna put it on here. Uh, I've got them up in the front little cage right now. That seems to work really good. If you guys are running one of these high sides and you're using a rack like this, let me know where you put it. I, I'm, I'm just not sure where it would be convenient to use it yet. Uh, if I figure that out, I'll probably mount it there. Now let's get this other blower rack on here. Uh, what I've done so far is I just held the blower rack up here and I marked it. Uh, anytime you're working with this black material, a silver Sharpie is like the best thing to have. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and shoot one of the screws into the hole at the top center. Uh, it's just gonna be hard to hold this thing up here one-handed, shoot the screw in. Uh, these things are so heavy duty, it's got a lot of weight to it. It would just be hard to hold on to it and put that screw in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot that screw in, take it out, hold the rack up there, put it in. So it's the same thing we did with the weed eater racks. I'm gonna do three of the self tappers and then three or four of the bolts at the bottom through the expanded metal. That's the way the other blower rack is, and that's been holding up good. So gonna keep it going, keep it exactly the same. So now the only thing I got left to do is uh, get the motor mounts all set up. Uh, this part of it is kind of a little tedious, just kind of getting everything adjusted and in the right place. So it takes a few minutes. But uh, once you get it done, you're set, you're done, unless you uh, change units. You know in that last video I showed you where I cut one of the Allen wrenches to make like a little bit? Well, this time I did pick up this little Milwaukee kit. It's got a ton of different bits in it. And they actually had a bit in there that is an Allen wrench bit that actually fits this. So, don't have to cut this one off. Just going to be using the Milwaukee one. Just so much easier than doing it by hand. So that actually went way quicker than uh, last time. I think just the fact that I knew kind of what to do and how to do it and uh, didn't really have to think about it as much as last time made it a heck of a lot easier. As always, I really appreciate you watching the channel. Uh, if you've never subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you enjoy this type of content, make sure you hit that thumbs up.